Who's the guy? Svengali. <laughs> yeah. Svengali. From day one, this airy fairy doctor had this Svengali control over her. Kept me away. Got her to move in with him. But you know what? She still loves me. She calls me up on the phone, asks me how I am. Says to me, Lenny, in that way she used to. I beg her to come back, but she says she can't. It's a doctor. He's got this hold on her, like Svengali. But Lenny Brown does not give up. One good maneuver and Lenny Brown is back in business. Clean up. Buy a house on the hill for cash, some decent wheels, and get my girl back. It'll be like... It all happened to somebody else. I don't know. A couple of years ago, I never even thought about tables at Morton's. And then I lose my prospects, my girl, my wife. And God knows what all... Because I went crazy because I didn't get the right table. Now, what the hell does it mean when you lose everything over nothing? I don't know, Lenny. I gotta get some capital together. It takes money to make money. Which is why I'm gonna have to ask you to leave now, Ned. I got a customer coming. Is there anything I can do for you? Can you bring Linda back? Just kidding. Oh, Jesus. It's so nice to see a face from the old days, Ned. I won't lie to you, it's been kind of hard to concentrate because I kind of miss having her around. I keep turning to her, you know, to say things. And she's not there. I'm sorry. Yeah. I knew from the first time I saw her that if I could ever have her, I could never keep her. I always knew that I would lose her. <laughs> and I was right, wasn't I? <laughs> Bye, Len. Hey, Ned. Why the long face? Now that you're writing for the Times, we'll run into each other. L.A. is a small town. Please, till I, till I fall off the earth.